Hello, everyone, and welcome to this very special installment of our Cape Space Connection series. I am your host, Haley Cote, Community Manager of Cape Space Mashby. And today I am joined by two awesome individuals from a super awesome organization here on Cape Cod, um, David Simpson and Jennifer Jean uh, from the Fine Arts Work Center in Provincetown. David, Jennifer, how are you? Great. Good. Hi. Glad to be here. Yes. So the Fine Arts Work Center, it's, it's such a cool place. It's it's kind of like a co-working center for artists, but I feel like it's even more than just that too. So David, I'll just have you start off and just tell us a little bit about what the what the center is all about and what you guys have to offer. Sure, sure, thank you. Uh, thanks for having us. We're happy to be with you today. Um, the Fine Arts Work Center is um, an artist residency center that's been around since 1968, so 54 years now. And in the building where we do our programming, um, art has been made for over a century. The owner of what was a, a lumber yard um, built studios above his uh, workspace back in the 1920s and rented, a, rented them out to artists for appallingly low amounts of money that we'd you know kill for today. But um, you know, so art has a long legacy at, uh, where we are right now. And as the Fine Arts Work Center, we've been doing it for over half a century. Uh, we have a couple of main programs that we do. The 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 one that the organization was founded for was to was the was the artist fellow program. We 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 choose uh, twenty artists every year, ten visual artists and ten writers, to do seven month uh, residencies here, where they stay from us stay with us from the beginning of October to the end of April every year. And we provide them um, living space and workspace and a stipend in order to be able to have the time and space to make their work. Uh, that's historically, you know, the the, the sort of the, the, the root cause and, um, you know, sort of the founding purpose of the organization was to provide these residencies for, for artists. Uh, every year, you know, a thousand artists apply for these 20 spots. And, you know, we've been doing it for 50 years. So we have a proud list of of former fellows that have you know gone on to really define American arts and letters um, for for generations now, and we're really proud of that legacy. Mm -hmm. uh, the program that Jennifer and I are are you know, we run, I run the educational programs, which is you know in the summer we do, we do open enrollment one week classes where people come to Provincetown and stay with us and take classes in visual arts and writing every summer. So we do nine weeks of classes and we typically have seven or eight, seven or eight workshops every week. So it's a very vibrant, fast changing atmosphere where people make and make and show and share a lot of work and create community very quickly. And it's a really incredibly intense, positive, creative atmosphere, which I, I love. I just did my first summer and I really loved it. And the program that Jennifer runs is called 24 Pearl Street. And, and that is our online writing program where for three sessions every year, we offer um, fact, you know, 28 or 30 different workshops run by the same fantastic faculty that that teach our summer courses um, in in all different kinds of writing that Jennifer will tell you more about. And we just dropped our catalog for our fall session, which starts uh, in October. Mm -hmm. Awesome, oh my God, yeah, it's so incredible what you guys got going on there. Um, to back up, so I know you mentioned uh, the residency part of what you have to offer. Um, can you touch a little bit more on the live workspaces you guys have there? I think that's that's really cool. It, it is kind of like a, a shared work thing, you know, where we we have sort of some common DNA with with uh, with your with your organization. Um, all of the writers have their own. We have um, several apartments on our on our campus and several. Um, houses which have been broken up to you know put two or three apartments in each in each one so every art, artist that that becomes a fellow is given an apartment uh in which they can live they sometimes they bring their partners and or you know um kids and sometimes even um but they have you know living space for the entire seven months of the residency and they're if they're writers their workspace is in their apartments and if they're visual artists, they're given a, a, a visual art studio, which is a, usually a quite large, high ceiling, well lit space where they can make whatever kind of visual art they're working on. <clears throat> so um, all of the apartments have 
uh, kitchens so they're you know capable of making all their own meals and they get a stipend so they can buy groceries and, and stuff like that they do do a lot of cooking and eating together it's, you know um, potlucks are a big thing with a, with the a winter fellows and you know it's a they they come here and they spend an intense seven months of the year here together and and they become very tight and form friendships and and relationships that last you know their entire lives mm -hmm. yeah so it's it becomes about that community that sense of community too which which we you know which we try to promote as well so yeah that's that's awesome. it's so true that's a very important aspect i mean art is um beleaguered profession in this country it's not like we we we, we do a very good job at supporting artists no, no matter how important the role of art art is in the maintenance of our society and the nourishment of our society um so it's really important for artists to be able to form communities and, and support each other in the work that they do um and the fine arts work center is is something that we do very very well is is create environments in which strong communities are forged mm -hmm. It's wonderful. <laughs> so kind of going off of that um, and thinking about how the artists you've had over the years have gone on to do really incredible big things. Um, how have you seen the impact um, of the center? What would you say has, how has the center made a difference in the lives of the artists you've served? Well, I, I would, that's, that's a really great question. And I would just say that um, the artists that were, that are chosen to do the fellowships are generally artists that are at the early stages of their career. So um, I think what you'll find a lot of artists saying that after going through the fellowship, what they realize is that they are artists and they are valued as artists and they are given space and time to do their work. And, you know, they, they it sort of changes how they see themselves. And the the time at the at the work center kind of gives them permission to live their lives as artists and gives them a level of confidence um and just sort of stubbornness to really you know to jump into the not always easy life of being an artist um so i think just giving people that confidence and that self-awareness and self understanding as being artists i think is a, an incredibly important thing that we provide for for these young people when they come to us absolutely mm, that's awesome <laughs> So Jennifer, I'm going to go to you now. Let's let's talk about 24 Pearl Street. Um, so I know David kind of teed it up, but uh, tell us a little more about what I, what exactly people can expect uh, from that program and its offerings. Well, 24 Pearl Street is a little over 10 years old, so it I think it was a very innovative program when it came about. It's an online learning program, and what it does is offer one and four and eight week workshops that are asynchronous. And uh, what that means is that students can access an online classroom that we have custom built for ourselves and they can access that classroom 24 seven and uh, get their assignments and post their assignments and get feedback and give feedback to each other, which also creates community. So it really uh, emerges, it's a program that emerges from the original mission of the Fine Arts Work Center in that it does foster that community. And believe it or not, <laughs> A lot of the students really stick together and they have communities uh, and touch base outside of uh, Fine Arts Work Center and 24 Pearl Street. And then they come back together to take workshops with their favorite teachers. Um, and as David said, the, the faculty are uh, the same stellar quality faculty, wonderful writers uh, that you'd find during the summer program. And uh, we have a few new initiatives that are going on right now. Uh, we have a program called uh, virtual live workshops so instead of just this asynchronous workshop that we have traditionally run for these uh over 10 years we've started running uh, zoom workshops where students can meet with each other via zoom and with the faculty and so this can be very exciting for in fact it is very exciting for students because they can zoom in from all around the globe from all across the country um, they can zoom in during winter months if they're Cape residents, let's say. Uh, they can zoom in and be part of the Fine Arts Work Center experience um, for just a very intensive week uh, and, and learn about uh, poetry or memoir or fiction or essays or even um, we have some hybrid classes that mix text and, Im and uh, image. And another initiative we have going on is called a sprint workshop. So that's just a very intensive three hours usually run on a saturday although we have two sprints this september running 
on weekdays. And so what students will do is they'll meet via Zoom, uh, these wonderful faculty, the two during September are with uh, an amazing poet, one of my favorite poets, Brian Turner, and also another like just uh, top of the line. I don't, have, I don't know how to express how wonderful she is. She loves teaching via Zoom, Dorian Lux. Uh, and so students can take their three hour classes um, for reasonable prices, because that's another thing that the Fine Arts Work Center tries to do is not just support um, these emerging writers as uh, through the fellowship program, um, but also make available these amazing experiences to people who mm -hmm. can't necessarily travel or afford uh, mm -hmm. to take classes with these amazing faculty. So that's that's something that we try to do as well. Mm -hmm. oh yeah, gosh, that's, that's incredible. <laughs> So Jennifer, you're a poet yourself too. Um, I'm gonna yes. I'm gonna come back to that at the end. Uh, but one more question. So um, the fall session is gonna start up soon. Um, so how yes. can people sign up for for 24 Pearl Street? Oh, you just uh, need to go to our URL fawc dot uh, org backslash 24, I believe. In any case, go to the Fine Arts Work Center <laughs> um, website and uh, look for 24 Pearl Street. And we have our catalog there. We have. 30 classes and uh, they're open for registration. And we have, um, here's the salesperson coming out in me right now, but we have a discount going on. And this is what I was speaking about before uh, regarding reasonable prices. We offer discounts and scholarships. So the discount is for early registrations. You just type in the code uh, fall 2022 early. And it's all on our website. If you, if you don't remember what I'm saying right now, type that in and you can get 15% off uh, up till September 19th. So you'd have to register before September 19th. And we also have a scholarship for indigenous writers. Uh, so uh, let all your indigenous writer friends know about this scholarship. Um, it's worth $600, which is very often over the price of a workshop mm -hmm. so that then the student would get a $50 credit to take another class. So this is an amazing opportunity and we're really happy to offer this um, to our uh, indigenous writer community. Mm, yeah, that's wonderful. So cool. So, okay, to close things out, so going back to the fact that you are a poet, Jennifer, I would love to um, have you read something, an original, original piece of yours and kind of celebrate the arts here. <laughs> okay. So I actually attended uh, Fine Arts Work Center workshops. Um, so I'm really, this, this feels like everything's coming full circle for me. The poem I'm going to read is from a forthcoming book. Uh, out in 2023 called Voz, which means voice in Portuguese. Um, and the poem is about it. I know we're located by the Atlantic, but the poem I chose, I chose it because it's short. It's uh, called The Pacific. <laughs> and it's just about, it's a gratitude poem. Okay. Mm -hmm. So The Pacific. Without a boogie board, you'd fling your body into the curve of the Pacific. Without baby oil, you'd still burn and be tender for days. Without a blanket, you drop your faded eddy shirt, sit and later shake it out, mop off your salt. Without shades, you'd raise your hand like a visor, squint at five footers rushing up at gulls. Without money, you drink from a fluoridated bubbler, you'd eat that deflated PB and J, box of raisins, yellow apple. Without a comb, your hair would turn to loose dreads damp with foam with mist. Without shoes, your hot calloused hobbling feet would be fleet, would crave the Pacific. Without a boom box, you'd hear other people's music and walk the slanted shore till you found your summer song. Without somebody's love, there'd be a miracle, there'd be today. Wow, my gosh, that was wonderful. I loved that. <laughs> and I really think that really just spoke to like our connection to nature. I took I took away from that how we all have such a have a, such a strong connection to nature. And yeah, that was that was wonderful. Thank you, Jennifer, for sharing. Oh, you're that. welcome. <laughs> okay, guys. So before I let you go, is there anything else you guys want to touch on that we haven't already? Uh, no, I just hope everyone signs up for 24 Pearl Street and uh, enjoys themselves and writes a lot. 
Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a great program. It really deserves a close look. And it's a great way to meet a lot of the faculty that do also teach in the summer, so that if you ever are considering taking a class with us here in the summer, it's a, it's a great way to, to, to introduce yourself to those people. Mm, absolutely. It's worth a trip. Yes, I know. I'm going to have to come up sometime. I'm dying to see it, see the center. Come on out. I'll give you a tour. <laughs> thank you david thank you jennifer and again the website fawc.org check it out check out everything they got going on um and again thank you so much for your time i really appreciate it thanks for inviting us Haley. really appreciate it it's nice thank to see you, you so much absolutely and thank you all so much for watching we'll see you next time bye